Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and all folks in between. Welcome to Aunt Middleson's Cooking Show. Hello, and thanks for joining me again. Today on the show, we're going to be making an old Southern traditional recipe, homemade biscuits. Now, we'll be cheating using some Bisquick, and that's okay, okay? Now, the Southern United States biscuit is not like the British biscuit. The British biscuits are, we call those cookies, and they're sweet and baked. The Southern biscuit is a bready thing, and it absolutely goes with everything. I like to say biscuits are like Kenny Rogers uh, of the food world, because if you don't know who Kenny Rogers is, he did duets with like everybody, country, rock, pop, everything. Um, so biscuits are... They are a staple in Southern living. They, you can eat them with dinner, breakfast. You can eat them with sweets. You can eat them with uh, your you know, meats, chicken, anything, and dinner. And we've eaten them all the time. So without further ado, I'm going to apron up and let's get started. Okay, let's get right to the ingredients. The first thing you're going to need is some Bisquick. This is the old standard Bisquick you get at the store. Um, I think one of these can uh, hold about four cups. And that's kind of exactly what we're going to need. So four cups of Bisquick. Uh, you can substitute the low fat version of this if you'd like. Although I don't believe it's quite as good. Just my opinion. The next thing you're going to need is some buttermilk. You're going to need um, two, um, uh, I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup of buttermilk. You can get any brand you like. You can substitute sweet milk if you like. It's perfectly fine. It'll be it'll work out real well. I think the buttermilk is slightly better. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is about um, maybe a tablespoon or so of sugar. Okay, and that'll give our biscuits a kind of a sweeter taste. Uh, and it's really kind of optional, but I think it really adds to the biscuits. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is some flour. Okay, and our flour we always put it in these little airtight containers because you know. The South has lots of bugs, y'all, let me tell you. Um, anyway, but this this flour, we're going to use it to spread out and fold into our mixture to make our biscuits nice and flour, uh, nice and co coherent, okay? And speaking of that, you're going to have to get yourself some kind of a cloth or a dish towel to lay out um, on your pre pre preparation surface because we're going to make this loaf kind of a, you know, a flat thing where you have to cut our biscuits out, okay? So you need to spread something to spread that on. So I get a nice clean dish towel of some sort, okay? And finally, you need some butter, okay? Butter goes on top at the end. How can you possibly have uh, biscuits without butter? I don't think it's possible. I mean, who would do that? So, all right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get um, cooking and I'll start mixing our ingredients and uh, let's go. Okay, y'all, I have my Bisquick out. I've already added four uh, cups to the bowl. Um, so, um, you need four cups of Bisquick, so make sure you get them all in there. The next thing we're going to add is our buttermilk. Um, I've already added a quarter of a cup, but I've added another cup here. So sorry I had to kind of rush this along. I kind of did it out of order. Um, so here we go. There is the full cup and a quarter of another cup of Bisquick. Um, gosh, buttermilk. Sorry. All right. The next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to add... Um, about a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, so get your sugar out. And voila, no problem. All right, those are all the dry ingredients and wet ingredients. And we're going to mix this up. And I'm going to fast forward my way through this so you don't have to watch it. Okay, y'all, I'm done mixing. Um, now your dough should look kind of like a ball, okay? And it has a nice little fragrance to it. Um, and you should be able to pick it up and pull it out of the bowl. If you still have things on the side of the bowl, just, you know, st stack it in there. and it It'll be great, okay? And I forgot to mention previously, you should go ahead and heat up your oven to 425 because uh, that's what we're going to cook these on, okay? So if you preheat your oven and mix the ingredients, by the time you're done mixing everything up, the oven should be ready, okay? So let's proceed with the... Um, laying it out on a towel and we'll start cutting some biscuits out, okay? All right, y'all, I am ready to cut some biscuits. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put out my nice um, dish towel, nice clean one, please. And I'm gonna put some flour on top of it. Um, so the uh, flour or the biscuits won't stick, okay? So there we go, it's just a nice spread. And I'm gonna grab my dough ball, okay? and place it um, 
on here. And then I'm going to put a little bit more flour uh, on top of that. Okay. So prepare to make a little bit of a mess. Not too bad though. Okay. I've got, I've got relatives when they cook, they have flour on the ceiling. So um, it's kind of kin kinetic uh, activity cooking. So we're going to take our um, biscuit thing and we're going to knead it a couple of times. Let's get that flour in there. Roll it good. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to see there. It goes a little camera angle. Uh, but we're going to lay this thing out and make it as flat um, as we can get it to cut these biscuits out. Okay. And it should kind of be a rectangular shape when we're done with it. Okay. So I want to work this a little bit and uh, maybe you can see what I'm doing and you can copy me. Okay. Okay, y'all, we've got our, our dough nice and flat. Uh, it doesn't have to be too thin now. You want your biscuits to be fairly thick, but I don't know. I, I hate to measure it, but it's probably like less than a half an inch thick. Okay. And now what you're going to have to do to get our biscuit is get yourself a nice glass of some sort. I have this small wine glass that I like to use. Um, you don't need it to be too big or too small, but you'll just have to use your own judgment on how big it should be. And I'm going to take this guy and I want to cut my biscuits out. So here we go. This is the method. Okay. You just press down and work it out and boom, one biscuit. Okay. So what you can do is do that through all of your dough here as much as you can um, until uh, you run out of, obviously you can't get one out of these little areas here. So then you'll have to just push your dough up and roll it up again, flatten it again and do it all over again until you run out of dough. And that very little bit at the very end, we'll just shove it in the oven anyway, right? Okay, so let's start cutting some biscuits out, okay? Here we go. Okay, y'all, thanks for sticking with me. I am finished cutting, and it looks like I have 16 of these little guys here. Um, if they're a little thicker, you could probably get 15, uh, you know, but I think these look pretty good. I got a few that are thinner than others, but I think we're going to be okay. And it ended up with a little dough ball at the end. He's not enough to, to throw away, but he's enough to keep. So he'll just be a quick pop in your mouth snack here uh, when we get done, right? Okay, but before we put these in the oven, uh, we're going to cook these just by the way for 15 to 20 minutes roughly, okay? They will turn golden brown. You probably should watch them. So put them in for 15 and um, check them uh, at that point. And then if they need to go more, leave them in for 20 uh, or somewhere in between there, depending on your oven, okay? Before we put them in, I hope you save some of your buttermilk because we're gonna put a little bit of buttermilk on top of each one of these before they go in the oven. It's gonna make a nice little sweet kind of a thing with the biscuit, okay? So get yourself a nice um, brush and we're gonna dab it on there. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, I've cooked my biscuits. I went the full 20. Uh, they may be, no, I think they're fine, actually. So um, you'll see they come loose very easily from the, the pan. And we have one more step to do. And we're going to add some butter to the top. So what I did is I microwaved uh, about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to spread it on top of all my biscuits. Okay? And that's our last step. Okay? So uh, join me in the dining room momentarily, and we will partake in some southern biscuits, okay? Hey y'all, we made it to the dining room and I have brought my biscuit with me, but I've added a little bit to it. Um, here in the South, we occasionally will make a biscuit and we'll put things like jellies or jams on it. I put some raspberry on mine, uh, maybe a pat of butter. Other ways we like to eat our biscuits is we eat them with sawmill gravy, which is a gravy made from sausage or ham or any sort of other breakfast meat um, or really any kind of meat for that matter. Um, we also like to eat them with molasses and syrup, um, a little bit of butter or something on top. They're delicious. It's, it's like a dessert. And you can always just eat them right along with your fried chicken uh, or whatever you've made for dinner. And it's just substitutes as your bread. So again, the bis the humble biscuit is the most versatile food in the South. It's eaten all the time, uh, eaten with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 
And um, I hope you enjoy making biscuits with me. So let's try this little guy and see what it tastes like. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and all points in between, is a Southern biscuit. So with that, thank you again for joining me on the show. I hope you enjoy making biscuits. Thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your comments. Share the channel with your friends. And I'm really glad you enjoy. I always look forward to your comments and enjoy uh, talk, interacting with you. So with that, I will wish everyone a healthy, happy, can't talk, got a mouthful of biscuit, happy and healthy, bon appetit. Thank <laughs> you.